He's on the Committee of House Administration. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A million a minute, Mike. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, you've been asked a lot of questions and you've been seemingly uh, answering them honestly to me. I have a couple of more detailed questions. Uh, of all of you, just by a show of hands, how many of your banks either directly or indirectly, and by indirectly I mean by loaning money to people that you knew would be using this money to invest in uh, credit default swaps? How many of you uh, engaged in that? None uh, of you engage? Well, we, we engage in credit default swaps, but uh, when you're asking the question, uh, are we lending money for them to do that, I'd have to come back and give you specifics. I cannot tell you. All right, fair okay. enough. Did you, did, did, how many of you directly engage in, in, in purchasing or investing in credit default swaps? How many of you uh, directly or indirectly engaged in credit uh, in CDOs? Uh, how many of you have uh, a very good recorder, but recording raised hands doesn't work, so yep. we'll need some oral. Uh, we, can, we can fill that in later. Right. That's fair. And, and how many of you, um, in, how many of your banks uh, had or currently have uh, special investment vehicles, those off the books, somehow unregulated subsidiaries of the bank or sister corporations? Uh, we have SPVs. Okay. So basically all or most of you engaged in all or at least some of the activities that actually created this crisis in my opinion. Because every one of those activities, especially the SIVs, especially the SIVs, to me, I think they're illegal. I cannot believe no one's prosecuted you on this. But then again, we've had no prosecutorial action whatsoever of the last administration, and the new administration has a little time to figure this out. We'll find out whether anybody really cares. How can possibly any regulated bank have something on its books that's totally unregulated, that for all intents and purposes is the same thing the bank does? That's for your lawyers to answer, and my hope is that you will be answering those questions in court someday. Uh, we'll find out later on. But basically, you come to us today on your bicycles after buying Girl Scout cookies and helping out Mother Teresa, telling us we're sorry, we didn't mean it, we won't do it again. Trust us. Well, I have some people in my constituency that actually robbed some of your banks. And they say the same thing. They're sorry. They didn't mean it. They won't do it again. Just let them out. Do you understand that this is a little difficult for most of my constituents to take? That you learned your lesson? And it's all the same people doing this. The same people who created SIVs, who created CDOs, who created credit default swaps that never existed a few years ago. You created them. You created the mess we're in. And no, not the only ones. Don't get me wrong. You just happen to be the ones here today. I can't wait to get the credit rating agencies here someday again. And now you're saying, sorry, trust us. And by the way, we don't even want the money. Interesting. No one's ever come to me and say, you must take billions of dollars. And as I heard it earlier, you have an option. Basically, they said you have to capitalize better because we no longer trust your books. You can either take this money and do it, or you can do it on your own. If you don't want the money, you can give it back. You just have to come up with the capital. That's how I understand it. And if you can't do it, I think many of us would be happy to change that law. You have to understand. I don't really have a question, but I was told that I can use the five minutes because the questions I have, you've answered them and you're going to continue to answer them and that's all well and good. The problem I have is that honestly, none of us, America doesn't trust you anymore. I for one, between myself and my various campaigns and my own personal business stuff, I get a lot of money to put in banks. I don't have one single penny in any of your banks, not one. Not one, because I don't want my money put into CDOs and credit default swaps and making humongous bonuses. Me, personal. Until that changes, none of us really believe, I was, none of us, I don't believe anything will change. Until you change the people who brought you into SIVs. Who was the brilliant person who came and said, let's do credit default swaps? Find them. Fire them. Tell me you fired them. Get out of CDOs. Start loaning the money that we gave you. Get it on the street. And don't say, oh, well, we're not using that money for bonuses. Come on. 
Money is all of a sudden not fungible in your entity. It's fungible everywhere else, but not in your entities. Get our money out on the street. And if you don't want to give it back, don't come here and tell me you can't. Yes, you can. As long as you live up to the requirements that are put on you now. In the new world that you created and we have to clean up. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back the remainder of my time. The gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. McHenry. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman.